Oh, but you know what we have coming up next. That triple threat tag team match for the New Zealand Tag Team Championships, where we know two of the teams involved, but the third went to a lethal lottery. I cannot wait for this one, Steve. A massive mystery. Competitors from around New Zealand have entered themselves into this matchup. They will be determined by a random draw. Brown Magic challenge SAS and a mystery team determined by a lethal lottery right here, right now. I feel very lucky. I've been the one charged with holding on to the lethal lottery. It's been very careful. It's never left my side. Are we having I'm fun so tonight, ABA? All right, folks. Let's kick into it with more action. You ready? Well, this next match is scheduled for one fall and is triple threat tag team action for the New Zealand Tag Team Championship. Introducing first. They are the New Zealand Tag Team Champions! The team of Alex Savage and Will Stone! Savage and Stone! S-A-S! It has got to feel good for SAS to be walking into Nightmare Before Christmas as the New Zealand Tag Team Champions. They had an opportunity to be the champions at Nightmare Before Christmas one year ago, but a devastating injury to the hip of Alex Savage crushed those dreams for these two men. And Wilson did everything he could to, to pay back the individuals responsible for it and wait his tag team partner to return. And, and their they've got opponents. the gold, they've got the glory. But this is going to be their toughest challenge ever. The team of Te Iti Karangi Davis, TKD, and TED, that's Ted. Together they are Brown Magic! TKD and TED, the number one contenders for the New Zealand Tag Team Championships. Now the final team to enter this triple threat match will be decided by Lethal Lottery. Earlier this week, we put the call out to all New Zealand wrestlers. If you want a shot at the New Zealand Heavyweight Tag Team Championship, put your name into the hat and we will choose two names to form a new tag team potentially and join this match. Stevie here, the lovely Stevie. Give it up for Stevie. All right, that's too much. He has collected all the names, and we will now draw the two people who will enter this match. The first person. The first person to enter this match as part of the last tag team is... James Shaw! A huge result here for James Shaw, a former New Zealand Tag Team Champion. Shaw enters his name into the Lethal Lottery. And he has been successful here tonight. They're hiding behind James Shaw. A man known as Saint Finn. Accompanied by Father Shaw as well. As you can hear, a chant of please retire echoing throughout ABA Stadium. Oh, and of course, James Shaw has something to say. Hush, my disciples. This is a glorious day for the divine light. I prayed and prayed. After spending six months dealing with Alfred Valentine in his darkness, it's time to move on to greater and better things. I 
I'm going to send a quick prayer now so that Saint Finn will be the chosen man out of that hat. Oh, Divine Light, please make Saint Finn my tag team partner. After the years and hard toil of this man, he truly deserves your blessing in front of these meek losers. Well, Shaw certainly not making himself any fans here at the ABA Stadium. Okay, all right, all right. We will now draw the final name from the hat. Will the Divine Light. The person Light. who will be tagging with James Shaw is... Has the Divine Light granted Shaw's wish? Will it be Saint Finn in the Lethal Lottery? <laughs> Alfred Valentine! James Shaw throws it to the spot as though he's seen a ghost. Shaw and Valentine have been as bitter rivals as they come, Steve. And now you're telling me these two have to work together as a result of the lethal lottery? Did you rig this thing, Dunn? I went down there, I've had that hat under lock and key all day. I was certain. James Shaw prayed to the divine line. I was certain it was going to be St. Finn. I don't understand. Alfred Valentine? Well, the divine light obviously works in mysterious ways. Oh, sure. You see the shock. The divine light has failed, James Shaw, for the first time ever. I'm heartbroken. Well, this is going to be a shock for Alfred Valentine as well. I mean, I'm sure he didn't want any part of this. But at the end of the day, this is the New Zealand Tag Team Championships. This is why everyone across the country has been has been entering it and, and sending in videos. Including both of these men, they did put their names it's in the lottery. Absolutely. They wanted to be here. Just not under these circumstances. I mean, this is, this is craziness. SAS didn't know who the third team were going to be. Brown Magic, they won an opportunity. They won it months ago. For reasons outside of my personal understanding, they have not been able to get a single shot against SAS. And here right now, this third team, but how chaotic is this going to get? That They can't be on the same page. And they just get a shot. They're going to have to find a way to do so. And this triple threat tag team conducted two men illegal at any given time. It'll be interesting to see if either SAS or Brown Magic even bother to tag in James Shaw and Alfred Valentine. Well, I mean, you'd have to be crazy to let them in, right? Like, Brown Magic and SAS have had time to prepare. This is the match obviously both teams wanted. I mean, unless unless your strategy is the fact that these two men hate each other right now on the fly, this would be what I would do in this situation. Maybe you do tag them in. They're not going to be able to coexist. They haven't prepared for this. A big gap between Shaw and Valentine on the apron there. Don't even want to stand close to each other as TED now brings the fight to Will Stone. New Zealand Tag Team Championship on the line. I just feel terrible for St. Finn. He knew in his heart this was going to be him. Well, the Divine Light has failed St. Finn tonight, but St. Finn's going to have to get over it as Will Stone rolls through and makes a tag to Alex Savage. It's unique, and it's, but it's effective, that tag team specialist offense by SAS. And I'm actually saying this is actually a little bit unusual. I mean, I know they've come into this match. It's the biggest show of the year. It's everything they've been working for since they Alex got injured before last year's nightmare. But uh, normally, Savage takes more time on the outside. He lets Will Stone control the match. And oh, oh, they got a game plan tonight. Well, TED doing his best to put his body weight behind this shoulder block. But Alex Savage knocks him to the map with one of his own. Savage now to retain the championship. Not quite enough. It's going to be interesting to see the ring positioning in this match, Steve. Traditionally in a tag team match, you want to cut the ring in half. But now you've got that third team peppering away in the corner there as Savage. Well, we've got referee Tom uh, taking care of the other side. Maybe uh, beautiful just push away the slap. there. And look at this. There's that ring positioning we talk about. TED finds himself in enemy territory. Ooh. Double team offense for the tag team specialists, Savage and Stone. 
scoop slam now from Savage as Will Stone comes up over that top rope, drives his body weight down into the midsection of TED. They are on fire right now. Complete tandem. What does this mean to Will Stone after he spent so much effort like a... Oh. TED with brute force they just back Stone into the corner as TKD comes in. Well, like you said, now, now uh, Stone is in the wrong corner. Oh, and he eats a drop kick right to the face. TKD hooks the leg here. Wrist control as well, but not quite enough to put Will Stowe down. Stone is obviously going to have to keep his cool in this match. We know how much it meant to him attempting to go for the Tag Team Championships last year and having it taken away. We saw his own unleashed fury at the men who hurt Alex Savage. Do you think he's going to be able to take control in this match when there's so much on the line? Potentially so much chaos. So many moving parts in this contest, but right now Savage and Stone believe if anyone can do it, they can. They are, after all, the tag team specialists, the reigning defending New Zealand tag team champions, and they certainly don't want to let those titles go by any means as they knock TKD down with double back elbows. And there's some of that stereo offense we love to see for the New Zealand tag team champions. And they have never looked better than right now. Definitely the best I've seen Savage in a long time. Stone, obviously on fire, in great shape, making his father figure proud, as I learnt not his actual father quite a while ago. Oh, oh my God! Wow. Massive release, Jim. It's simply said Alfred Valentine oh my just God. tagged himself into this match. Well, they had, obviously, they'd been keeping them out of the match, as we'd noticed, but Stone's positioning did not. Oh, my God. What could happen right now? And James Shaw with a tag, Steve. He's now the legal man. I don't know if Alfred Valentine saw that. Why would you do this, James? He, he just tagged him, just let him do the work. James Shaw seeing red here, of course. New Zealand tag team titles on the line, has to pull it together. We always want it for himself. You can't fight each other. These two are supposed to be a team. <laughs> Valentine and Shaw eating some double drop kicks from Brown Magic. Wasting too much time bickering amongst themselves. Oh! And Alfred Valentine, I think just by reflex there, attack James Shaw. And that's what you get with too much chaos, I mean. And Brown Magic taking full advantage of Shaw's a legal man, he's just been kicked to the head by his own partner. I think the writing is 100% on the wall right now. I think both teams, the champions and the challengers, Brown Magic, should keep Shaw or Valentine in the match. But this is a dangerous position for SAS. If Shaw can find a way to pin TED, if TED can pin Shaw, SAS lose the tag team championships and they're not even involved in the fall. Oh, can you imagine that after so much agony to get here tonight? Well, James Shaw asking the ABA Stadium whether he should tag at Alfred Valentine has no intentions of doing so. Shaw going to do this one alone. As he delivers a scoop slam to TED. And again, James Shaw not looking to make this a true tag team with Alfred Valentine. I mean, I think St. Finch should just climb back up on the apron and just, and just become the default tag team partner. I think that would be the fairest thing right now for James Shaw. Well, St. Finn was not drawn in that lethal lottery he entered, but he was not successful. You know, I've still got the bag here. I'll just, I'll just check. I'll just check. Finn did put his name in five times, so... He did what? He put it in five times. He's a multifaceted individual. He deserved well, five times. I well, mean, that's definitely not allowed. Isn't it? Back of the ring, Shaw eats it. Ed's a Gary to the back of the head, staggering around on wobbly legs. Is it okay that people bribe their way in? Because Nico Dandy had, had about 10. Oh, come on! This lethal lottery. Oh! Big diving close on off the top right from TKD into the cover on Shaw. You see there, Will Stone thinking about breaking that one up, was worried those tag team championships might slip through his fingers. And you can see Stone, he's almost feeling all the, the, the shots inside the ring. He has to keep all that. Oh my God! Back elbow finds its target. TKD now hooks the leg of Shaw. Oh my God, that was so close. Two and a half from Brown Magic. If, 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 if he had not kicked out, then could Stone have actually made it? Do you think? Oh my position. God, he's tuning up the band. Oh, he caught it. 
Look at that short shot, cut it. De Hula de la Puda, that Spanish for the super kick, he got him. Oh my God, TKD almost became one half of the tag team champions. Brown Magic could have punched their ticket to victory here. But TKD not letting Shaw kicking out get to his head. Had something in mind, but now Shaw's got him in position. Look at that Death Valley driver, baby. And now Alfred Valentine tags it off Shaw, and Alex Savage tags in from TKD. Well, that's very smart there, getting Brown Magic out of the way. Stone taking care of Shaw. He's had enough of James Shaw's antics. Who can blame him? Oh, now time for the grizzled vets to go at it. Valentine ducks behind that bionic elbow. Using his head there, knocks Alex Savage to the mat. Savage often very reliant on that bionic elbow. Valentine, he prepared for this. He knew there was a chance he could be in this match. And now Valentine finds himself all alone in the ring. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh! Devastating impact from Alfred Valentine. Wiping out everybody in his path, including Steve, his own tag team partner. He's an absolutely heartless man, but it's effective. And you know what? Alfred Valentine hasn't even needed to call on the power of no face. The mask that he got back last month at Taranaki Turmoil when, of course, he defeated James Shaw in a ladder match. Oh, and Valentine runs into a hard back elbow now. Alex Savage doing his best to gain control of this matchup. Oh, Uranagi action right there. A high knee in the corner right to the jaw of Alfred Valentine. Looks like he might have a little stinger there. I question. Oh, and the oh, knee no, of no. Alex Savage just oh, gave on, out no, no, under whoa, whoa, whoa. his own weight. The referee checking him. The referee should probably get in there a lot, a lot, a lot closer. Savage. I mean, you can tell he, he was he was favouring it. Oh. And Valentine smashes him to the canvas. Blue Thunder Bob. You see, that was not a powerful kick out there. I, it's almost like all the energy just got sapped from Savage. But keep your eye on Will Stone. Valentine focused on Alex Savage in that potentially injured left knee. Just eats a stepping stone right to the face. How about TKD getting in there? Beautiful Seattle suplex there. Short shot. from TED. Oh, skull cracker. TED is out. But TED, I don't believe, is the legal man. Who, who is the legal man at this point? Is it, is it Valentine? I think it's Valentine. And so do SAS. They have all things hooked up here with it. Look at that skull cracker again. Oh, no, 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 no. They couldn't. Oh. Stone's to the outside. Savage is down. Um, Nasty tumble to the outside for Will Stone as Alex Savage shaking around that left knee that appears to have given out on him for a second I, straight I saw time. The, I saw the way he was clutching it. It was a lot higher than the knee. This could could be related to the hip issue. James Shaw with a tag now. And a Death Valley driver from Alfred Valentine connects. Well, well, what's Shaw thinking, though? Well, Shaw and Valentine have been far from a cohesive unit throughout this match. And no one would expect them to be. But now as Valentine heads up top... Well, Valentine has no idea that James Shaw tagged himself in. He is not the legal man. Oh! Oh, my God! He just got all of that 450 splash! Now, James Shaw looking for a choke slam like he's possessed. I, I'm very confused by that. What the hell is Shaw doing right now? Shaw again seeing red, but Valentine with the counter. Death Valley driver. Shaw's body's on top of Savage. Oh my God. What the hell? James Shaw, Alfred Your Valentine. Is it and new. Oh my God. New Zealand Tag Team Champions. 
James Shaw, and Alfred Valentine. You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe what I just saw. Alex Savage, problems with his leg. Will Stone throwing out of the ring. Valentine had the match won. Shaw tagged himself in. An incredible 450. And then Valentine just drove Shaw with a Death Valley driver. And now Valentine leaving with both of the New Zealand Tag Team Championship belts over his shoulder. This is an unbelievable result here at IPW Night Never Before Christmas. Alfred Valentine winning it huge in that lethal lottery. Oh my God. I literally, I just, I can't believe what I just saw. Hey, the belt, we're the belt, we're the belt. James Shaw and Alfred Valentine just can't get along. And Alfred Valentine has just taken both of the Tag Team Championship belts. I have asked the Divine Light and it has answered. Alfred Valentine, you owe me one of the Tag Team Championship belts. We are Tag Team Champions together. Yet every show, every event, you take them both selfishly. Now, you can either hand one over to the Church of the Divine Light or you can accept my challenge to a divine war match. We'll get Fight TV, we'll get the world involved, we'll broadcast it live Saturday, 7 p.m. And we will see truly how the divine light works in mysterious ways. Thank you, divine light, and bless you all.